Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group C, one of the most open groups in this tournament. And let's have a look at our fight card, shall we? So up first we have got Mr. Ferry taking a crack at Dino Smash. Then we'll have a big match between Cayman Rider Chimera and Windless Nirvana. After that we will see Kaz taking a crack at Aravgrim. And as for our main event, it is two 2-1 two teams going at each other it's silver knights and team argentina be an interesting main event that but we got three matches to go through first so let's go on with our first match right in the red corner for mr ferry we have got a big red t-rex okay so we're in the coliseum no terrain advantages here which will please dino smash to the internals Right, in the blue corner for Dino Smash, we got Taurosaurus. Dino Smash enjoying a very strong tournament so far, despite losing in round 3. But they did get those two big wins against Cayman and Nevan in round 1 and 2. So I feel like out of everyone in this group, I feel like Dino Smash could have the easier running. And if they win here, it will put pressure on the other guys in Group C. But for Mr. Ferry, he's currently sitting at 1 and 2. If they can get back, if they can get a win here. Well, yet again, it shakes up Group C. So plenty to play for for these two. Oh, oh that's a big crit. A big, big crit from the fe Mr. Ferry. Well, not the start you want if you die no smash, but exactly what you want if you're Mr. Ferry. Massive hit from T-Rex. And that's a tie. Can Dino Smash respond with a crit of his own? Nope. And down goes Taurosaurus. Right then. Here comes the shining star for Dino Smash. We've got Omega Eokarkiria. It has all the boost moves and well, we have seen how effective that can be. It's pretty much been a... It's caused problems for all three of Dino Smash's opponents thus far. And I'm sure it will cause Mr. Ferry problems as well. Well, if it gets hits off. But so far, all the hits belonging to uh, Mr. Ferry. Okay, there's a tie. And, if that's not enough, he's got the Omega Arm at the count on if he needs it. Oh, and the tie recovery effect. Another tie. Ooh, it's a net wow, another tight. Look at the bar filling up all of a sudden. Oh, that's a crit, and that should be curtains for T-Rex. So we got attack boost, tech boost, defense boost, everything boost. Hmm. Now, for those of you that don't know, attack boost and defense boost, attack boost and defense boost as well. The buff you get from them does depend on your dinosaur's technique. So dinosaurs with more technique will get more of an attack buff. Or more of a defense buff. So that's why they have the technique boost in there. Not that the Eocarcaria needs it, he's got a thousand bullet technique. Right, coming in next from Mr. Ferry, we've got Alpha Iguanodon. Well, it's gonna have a problem here because two hits, we will see Omega Arm. And the Eocarcaria is relatively unscathed. Ty's really helping Dino Smash here. And that Ty recovery effect as well. And that's another hit. And that means the bar is going to be full. It's going to be maxed up in attack, defense and technique. Dino Smash in a really good position here. And it is Omega Armor time. Here we go. Well, Mr. Ferry's in big trouble now because I feel like he's going to need probably three hits, three, four hits to kill this thing. That's without Dino Smash getting any hits. Oh. Well, there's, uh, there goes the Iguanodon. And now Dino Smash is well in command now. Massive hit coming from the Omega Eocarcaria. 
Poor old Iguanodon. Oh wow, there's a big lag. Moves always seems to lag the end of Right, coming in third for Mr. Ferry, we got a Paki Rhinosaurus, and yeah, things not looking good for Mr. Ferry, despite a decent start. The Eocar Carrier has just swung this map 180 degrees, big time. Well, is it any comfort for them? Look, it's going to be tough, because if this Eocar Carrier probably only needs two hits to win, Whereas the Pachy Rhinosaurus will probably need about four or five hits to kill it. And well, there's one hit. Well, yeah, look at that. One hit from the eel car will win it. And yeah, there it is. Wow. That was a sweep. But if the eel car hero is in first, Dino Smash might have won this match 3 0. That was an absolute sweep. But it is a bonus point victory for Dino Smash nonetheless. And Mr. Ferry tasting defeat yet again. Right, on the match number two. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Cayman Rider Chimera, we have got Packy Rhinosaurus. Uh, we don't have any Blitz types. We don't have any Grass Dinosaurs in this matchup. So yeah. Everything as normal. Dun 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 dun. Cayman Rider, one of the two and one teams. But in the blue corner for Navarre, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Now, I think they had this in their team last year and it did really well. No, wait, no, they didn't. They had a Super Trike and T Rex, I think. I can't remember. It was either T Rex or a Acra, Alpha Acra. I think it was Alpha Acra, actually. But yeah, they've had a really tough tournament so far. Three defeats. And well, four on the spin if you go back to the finale last year. Still looking for their first win of the tournament. Now, the saving grace for them is that, you know, everyone in this group has lost at least once, so no one's really been able to pull away yet. I mean, I know we had Dino Smash just win with a bonus point, and they will go top for the time being, but if Navan can win this match, they'll still keep pace with the top guys. So I don't think, even though they're 0-3, they're not in a perilous position yet, but they do need to win this match, I feel. And well, that's not a good hit there, was it? Alpha Dart backfire, at think. Right. Oh, that's not good. That's a crit. That's going to be a Gatling Spark and a big one. Oh, jeez, look at that. Almost wasted it. Oh, and I say almost wasted it. Now it's wasted. The Pappy Rhinosaurus showing no mercy here. And it's a strong start from Cayman Rider Chimera. Right, coming in next for Navar, we got the T-Rex, the Super T-Rex. It's got Death Fire, the Awaken Mode on 2. I think we might, might need to see a bit of Death Fire from this fella. Sigoi! But it has been a good start from Cayman Rider so far. Looking to go 3 and 1. Along with Dino Smash. That was a 2. Ooh, there's a hit. The T-Rex getting a, getting a hit on the board. Right, that's one. Oh, that's a tie. That triggers the Gatlin Spark. Ooh, but the T-Rex gets another hit on the board. And it'll be awakening time. Now, a tie here will probably be better for Navania. It'll give him a chance to hit the Eocark area, which comes in next. Okay, he gets the hit. That's going to be curtains for Pappy Rhinosaurus. Probably would have rather a tie there, just to get a chance to hit this Eocark area, but 
They'll take the hit nonetheless, and they still got the chance of a death fire getting triggered. But coming in next for Cayman Rider, we have got Omega Eocarcaria. Well, we've just seen one absolutely wipe the street with Mr. Fairy, so will we see this one do as well as Dino Smashes did? Ooh, that's a tie. Now, the benefit that this one has is that it does have the Flare Sword, so it's not uncultured like the other one. Oh, is a T-Rex going to survive? I don't think it will. Oh, it did, but it didn't get the Death Fire. That is mental. It survived, but no Death Fire trigger in. And that'll be good news for T-Rex. Right, coming in third for Navarre, we got this Alpha Sukamimus. Now, it does have type advantage over that Eocarcaria, which Navarre is going to have to use here if he wants to get back in this match. But despite getting hits, Cayman Rider is still holding a decent lead. Now, the type advantage will only apply when the Futaba Cannon triggers. Oh, that's a crit. Ooh, that's not good. That's a flare sword. That's double not good. That's probably going to get the losing bonus point secured for Cayman, should they still lose. But, well, losing doesn't look like it's happening for Cayman here. Nope. Oh, is that another hit? Another Yokarkaria sweep. And it's Cayman Riders' victory, and the Van falls to 0 and 4. Well, that's two Eocarcarias now that have basically swept their respective opponents aside. Right, on to match number three. Right then, in the red corner, representing Kaz, we have got the Joe Borea, and well, this Joe Borea is doing the job so far for Kaz in this tournament. Currently sitting at 2 and 1. A win here, and they'll join Dino Smash and Cayman Rider at going 3-1. And, and, well, we all know what that Hydro Cutter can do. Right, in the blue corner for a Ravgrum, we've got Acrocamphosaurus. It's a Blitz type, so we will get go for two crits right at the start. Will he get that? And he'll also get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of the Alpha Ranosaurus in third. So this could be a good field for a Rav Grimier, right? Paper! Oh, Joe Bory is having none of that nonsense. Put a stop to that crit. Right, crit number two. Oh, that's a tie, so Rav Grim does fail to get off any crits there. Another tie. Oh, Joe Bory getting another hit. Don't even need Hydro Cutter here. Good start from Kaz. And that's another hit on the board, and that will be curtains for the acro. No Hydro Cutter, no problem. Okie dokie, coming in next for a Rav Grim. We've got the Super Kamara Source. Awake mode on three. Might need that awake the mode here to get back in this match. Especially if that Joe Borea gets a Hydro Cutter. And so far in every match, that Joe Borea has got off a Hydro Cutter at least once. So that's definitely something Aravgram have to bear in mind. And wow, it looks so much bigger than the camera. Tie. Oh, that's another hit. Wow, this has been a really dominant start from Cass. Oh, what we got here? It's an Aqua Javelin. Right, that's one. That's another, that's another tie. Oh, it's an Ocean Panic. In fact, both of our teams have Ocean Panic, but it's the Kamarasaurus getting their Ocean Panic off. That'll definitely help the Rav Grim get back in his contest. And the Shockwave removal. Okay, that's twice. 
But as per the uh, shock move removal rules, Kamarasaurus will be going for rock. Ooh, there's a tie. That's another tie. Is that an ocean panic? And it's for Kamarasaurus. So that means that Joe Borrier is going down. And unfortunately for it, it didn't get off a hydro cutter. Although, yeah, I haven't really had a chance to, to be honest. Right, coming in third second for Cass, we've got Therizinosaurus. Well, Cass still has a pretty decent lead here. You know, ironically, the Drawboria dying without actually getting hit by Aravgram. They got the two ocean panics and a buttload of ties. Interesting. Now, if the camera can get a hit here, get that awaken mode activated, they can Aravagon can really come back in this match. Oh, is it an ocean panic? Another ocean panic! And that guarantees the awaken mode for the camera. Kama 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 kama. Ooh, almost botched it then. No shockwave removal effect though, so moves will be generated like normal. Since it didn't get the uh, shockwave effect. Oh, oh. oh is it gonna... No, I didn't survive, but you know, it did some damage at least. <laughs> right, coming in third for a Ravgrum, we've got Alpha Aranosaurus. Now, it does have terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit, which will be a paper hit. So Aravagrim is going to get a hit in this match. But you'd think, for someone that hasn't actually got an actual hit yet, they'd be further behind, but they're not. They're still right in this. And one hit after this terrain hit, Aravagrim could be back in this. I mean, look at the difference. Hardly a difference, to be honest. Oh, but that's a claw blade. That's going to be a massive hit from Kaz. Boah, jeez. That was a lot of damage. Because this ferry is counter type. Well, that's the massive hit they wanted. And that's the bonus point. Wow, that was a very impressive victory for Kaz there. A bonus point win, joining Dino Smash and Cayman Rider at the top. And Aravgrim, well, they got some good tie hits with the Ocean Panic. Got the terrain hit. Really couldn't get going. Now then, it is time for our main event. A clash of two 2-1 two and one teams. Right, in the red corner, representing Silver Knights, we got Utoraptor. Silver Knights enjoying a decent tournament so far, two and, sitting at 2 and 1. But they might have a bit of a problem in this matchup, particularly on this field. Because, in the blue corner for Team Argentina, we have got Mapusaurus. This Mapusaurus, not only will it have type advantage over the Utoraptor, but it also gets terrain advantage. So it will get the first hit in this match, which will be a scissors hit. But the terrain advantage will not be exclusively for Team Argentina. Silver Knights will also get terrain advantage. Wait, no they won't. They don't have fire type. <laughs> okay, there's the first shot. Decent hit there. Team Argentina also sitting at 2-1 and one in this tournament. The winner will pretty much join the other three. The, the, the three 3-1 three winners. Dino Smash, Cayman Rider, and Cats. Ooh, that's a crit from the Utoraptor. Good response that from Silver Knights. And now the Mayfly didn't get triggered there, so... Well, it will get triggered now. That was a good crit there from Utoraptor. Elemental power coming in handy as well. Right, that's going to max up the elemental power. Another hit. Dealing with a tight disadvantage quite well, this Utoraptor. Oh, 
Ooh, got one big hit from Mapusaurus. Well, it's not going to get a big hit because it's going down. So I was going to say, one big hit from the Mapusaurus would have changed everything. <laughs> right, coming in next for Team Argentina, we got Carnotaurus. One of the most iconic Argentinian dinosaurs. That hurricane beat definitely packs a punch. But it's been a steady start from Silver Knights. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, there's a hit from the car. Nope, a tie bomb coming in. I think with the elemental power buff the Uteraptor has, this will not be lethal, and it's not. Oh, it triggers the Dino Illusion as well. Okay, that's not too bad, though, because a tie will kill Uteraptor. Oh, but it gets a hit. Alright, that's not too bad. It does trigger the Hurricane Beat as well. So it's not the worst case scenario. Okay, there it is. That's a good tie there from Team, Team Argentina. Takes out that Uteraptor and it plays around the, the Dino Illusion. Good tie, that. Right, coming in next for Silver Knights, we've got the Pentaceratops. Pentaceratops, always a powerful dinosaur in this tournament, always seems to do well in matches. Hmm, an interesting crossroads. A hurricane beat here would be huge for Team Argentina. But can they get it? Well, they get ahead. A tie bomb coming in. Good shot there from Carnotaurus. Ooh, that's a tie. That triggers the Gatlin Spark. But it does blow up the tie bomb. It's another tie. Oh, that's a big hit from Pentaceratops. That's going to be all she wrote for the Carno. Oh, a big smack up a cut from Pentaceratops. Days in the Carno and killer. Massive hit from Silver Knights. Right, coming in third for Team South America, Team Argentina, we've got Saltysaurus. Now, it's going to have tight disadvantage against Pentaceratops, and Pentaceratops does have elemental power, which is used once. But the saving grace for the Saltysaurus is if it gets a crit, it's crit as Dino Stuffer, so that'll put, that gets around the tight disadvantage and elemental power buff that Pentaceratops has. So if they get a crit, I think it will be lethal for Pentaceratops. Okay, they get a hit, but... Oh, wow, look at that. They have to get a crit on this Pentaceratops, otherwise it's going to be Silver Knight's victory. Oh, that's a big hit. That's going to max up elemental power. Oh, jeez, look at that. That's the difference. They need a crit. Okay, there's a ch here's a chance. And they get the crit. Whew. Big shot from Saltosaurus. And a much needed one. Coming in third for Silver Knights. As you can see here, we've got Spiny Dinotector. Well, the Saltosaurus did take a bit of damage, so I don't think we're going to see the Dinotector in this match. But can this, can Spiny finish the job nonetheless? on water now. Saltosaurus getting another hit. Team South America clawing back into this contest. Ooh, that's a tie. Now, the Saltosaurus does have ocean panic. The Spiny doesn't. Ooh, hello. If this lands on a six, on a big number, it could be game over. Oh, it's a one. S Silver Knight does get the hit, but the Alpha Dice lands on a one. Struck out there. But they're still one hit away from winning. 
Ooh, that's a tie. That's another tie. Oh, here it comes. Ocean panic time. That's going to drop Spiny's HP below half as well, so both of our guys will at least get a losing bonus point out of this contest. Will we see some shockwave removal? Yes, we do. Now things get interesting. Can Team South Argentina win it? Well, they'll at least get the tie. Will a tie... Oh, he's going to get the hit. Is that lethal? I don't think it's going to be. Oh, it is! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But Saltasaurus gets the win. And it's Team Argentina's victory. Despite Silver Knights leading throughout pretty much the entire match. Wow, I didn't expect the uh, Saltasaurus to kill it there. I thought it would survive with a sliver of health. Actually, out of interest, let's see what would have happened. Oh, okay, you would have got the next hit anyway. Okay, yeah, Team Argentina's victory there. Unanimous, no debate. But Silver Knights does get the losing bonus point. Right, we'll have a look at the table and we can end the session. Wow, look how tight Group C is. Like, I can't separate these guys by virtue of the fact that Dino Smash and Cars hasn't played each other yet. And I think that's round six, I believe. I'll have to double check, but yeah, nothing to separate these three. And then you have Team Argentina up in 4th on 10 points. Silver Knights in 5th on 8 points. And then these three are as you were. Mr. Ferry on 4, Aravglum on 3, and poor old Nirvan on 2. But 2 and 8 points adrift with 3 to play. So yeah, it's win or bust for Nirvan at this point. They're going to have to get a win in their next game and ideally a bonus point win. But yeah, that round really definitely shaped up Group C. I haven't really shaken up Group C much. Right, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.